Six months ago, we put 100 gallons of our Tennessee whiskey on our friend Shorty's shrimp boat to rapid age it. Well, you know, we got to compensate Shorty a little bit. Give him a gallon of the liquor and a 1,000 bucks. Yeah. We promised bees 100 gallons rapid aged on the sea, five-year-old liquor, the equivalent of. Kind of concerned about, we go pick it up if it worked. We got a lot riding on this. It's a $22,500 payday, and we've never done this. We don't know if it'll work or, or not. We're nervous. You know, if this is not good liquor, we will not put it on to a client. Holy moly. That ought to be again the law. We taste right out of the jug. You've got strong vanilla. You've got light cinnamon. You've got a little leather. Man, that is super, super good. Look at that. It's that deep mahogany color. It's just deep, rich browns. So it's it's phenomenal. Hey, yeah. Goodness. I'd say that's it, fellas. We want you to have that. We want to settle up with you with some cash, too. We was thinking fat jug of maybe a thousand bucks. I'm not even really interested in the cash. I'm more interested in more of these. We should never let you have it. What are you thinking about? <laughs> I'm thinking six. What do you think? I mean, yeah, without six. him, without Shorty, we wouldn't have had it. I'm good with six. Six suits you and no cash. No cash. We both agree on six gallons. Well, sadly, we have less than 100 gallons now. We lost maybe five gallons to leakage to the broken bunk when we put it on the boat initially. Now, that's 10% of what we brought. And, you know, that kind of puts me and Digger in a little bit of a bind. Killer! Bees! That was fun running up them stairs just then. You look almost 60. You needed to. <laughs> I did need to. Hey, buddy. Hey, man, good to see good you. Good to see you, man. Can I taste it? Well, yeah, we recommend it. Look how pretty that is. Ain't that good looking liquor? That is liquor? gorgeous. What a nose it's got. Wow. Easy now. Who in the world would have thought? <laughs> they are going to love that. The flavor profile is right in line with the five-year-old liquor. You got your tobaccos, you got your cinnamons, you got your vanilla. It's all across the palate for your nose. I'm as proud of that as any as we've ever done. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. They are going to be out of their gourd. C.H. Yeah. Tennessee whiskey. And this is the first time you've done this? Oh, yeah. Now, uh, just a little bit of update. We had a little accident. We had a busted bung that leaked out. And we had to give the boat captain six gallons for his role in this sea aging process. I mean, honestly, your takeaway here is going to be about 90 gallons. Wow. I mean, this ain't our first rodeo, and we still make common boo-boos, gotcha. too. Gotcha. Nothing is ever. If you need 100 gallons, you don't just take 100 gallons. I, I get I get that. All righty, so, so is this it? Let's load it up. It I'm, is not. It's still in the barrels ready for you here. to put it in the jars. Wait a minute. Did I not tell you that they wanted bottles? You did not. We got to have bottles. This is a well-known arena act. Their tour bus is tricked out, don't and give they a damn don't who want, they are. We don't have. They bottles. don't want jars on their. You know these guys spend a fortune on their bars, so I'm sure they just don't want a lonely mason jar that looks like they dipped something out of a bucket. We've got a guy that's been a little difficult, and he wants bottles and not mason jars. We're needing five hundred. Okay, uh, I've got a few. That what you're looking for? I thought you was needing more. 500 is just a drop in the bucket. Those glass? Those are not glass. Those are PET, uh, plastic. Honestly, uh, I think glass is really what we need. I, I might have something that you can look at. We've always been taught if you're proud of your liquor, you won't put it in plastic. Plastic degrades with alcohol. It's leaching something into your liquor you don't want. Wow, look at these down bottles there. Electrolyte water. Ain't that some? There's you some caffeine water. I don't need to go no faster and I'll let it go. That's... If you go any faster, you're going to be stopped. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm friends with him. <laughs> well, guys, here's, I think, what you might be looking for. This is the actual bottle. It's a 750 milliliter, and uh, we ended up with these. Uh, we had a customer that pulled their project, and you just, just inherited them. Just okay. inherited them. And um, so, uh, does that look like something like you got in mind? Or? That looks a lot that like what we exactly. need. Exactly. And uh, that's what they call a bar top or a T-cork. What we need to be inquiring about now 
is what we're looking at cost-wise. You know, I mean, I know what you're doing, or I think I know what you're going to do with them. I'd say you got a pretty good idea. <laughs> so I'd be willing to do some trading. John doesn't want money for these bottles. He wants some of his Tennessee whiskey. But on top of that, we lost five or six gallons. We gave six gallons to Shorty for doing what he did for us. So that's cutting into the liquor even more. But we got to do what we got to do to get these bottles. Hey, hey, buddy. Good to see you. Hey, man. How are you? I'm good, man. I'm yeah. doing great. All right, gentlemen, well, let's, uh, let's get this knocked out. So we got it all in bottles. Got all that we got in bottles. All right, now, what did those bottles run me? Uh, them bottles had a net cost to you of six gallons of that liquor. So why did you trade the liquor instead of just money to get the bottles? Seems like the liquor's harder to get for us. The guy that owned the bottles thought so too. He didn't need the money. Okay. He didn't want the money. He wanted the liquor. And honestly and truly, it, it's just a good digger and I are going to keep two and a half gallons each. So with all said and done at the end of the day, we only have 78 gallons. 78? And Let's do this. 78 gallons. How about I pay you 17000 we told you there was no more aged liquor, and okay? When, I called when you, you called later back, I said we can ask, have it in six months. Right. That involved a rapid aging process done on the ocean. That, that wasn't so my... I didn't you know you wanted you aged liquor. Aged it don't liquor. matter. It's our liquor. Well, we listen, it tomato, tomato. We can go around here all and all together. It's your fault. It's my fault. It's his it's fault. Our fault. It's, it's everybody's fault here. I'm going to make an executive decision here. When I say this, this is it. 18 grand, not negotiable. Take it or leave it. It is what it is. It is what it is. I'm going, I'm going to take that deal. One of the reasons is because they are going to love that liquor. Looking to the future, I don't want to be the guy that didn't show up with anything. I, I understand. Guess, you know, I get that. You know, things happen so, sometimes you don't get your full shipment. Let's put your liquor in your truck, boss. All right. I am thrilled to no end to be done with this Tennessee whiskey order. Your count just went down another gallon. You're down to 77. Just take the rest of this and throw it in the damn dumpster and get it over with. If he don't hurry and get out of East Tennessee, he ain't gonna have enough damn liquor to take a pill with for a snake bit.